You know how sometimes you'll have maybe an empty space in your house or an empty space in your, your room and you just keep looking at that space and you keep saying, I need to put something in that space. I need to set into place maybe a piece of furniture. I need to put something there. It just looks like it's missing something. It looks like it needs something. And then when you finally get that perfect item, maybe it'll be furniture or, you know, an accessory, something, then you put it there and it makes you feel good. And you, you step back and you look at it and you go, yeah, that's what that needed. That's what that space needed. Well, I'm here to tell you today that God is getting ready to set into place some things inside of your life and some missing areas and some things that you have needed. The same way that he set into place the moon and the stars. In Psalms 8 verse 3 of the New Living Translation, it says that when I look at the night sky and I see the work of your fingers, that the moon and the stars are set into place by you. That God set into place the moon and the stars. So if your God is mighty enough to set into place the moon and the stars, then you have to understand that 2018, you are getting ready to get some things that are set into place. So what I need you to do after watching this video is I need you to go and write down what it is that you want God to set into place in your life. In, in those dark spaces of your life that you need him to fix, you let him know what you want him to set into place in that area. In those areas that are missing something that you think need to be filled with something that only he can fill for you, then you say, God, God, I need in this area for you to set into place this thing. So this year is going to be your year where you are going to see the mighty works of his hand. When I was getting ready for Faith Hill Friday today, all I kept hearing is mighty are the works of his hand. Because if he can set into place the moon and the stars, then he can set into place anything in your life that you need. So today is a day for you to get excited for the things that God is getting ready to set into place for you in 2018 and begin to rejoice him knowing that he's going to set into place those miracles, those signs and those wonders, those dreams, those goals and those aspirations and any single thing that it is that you're praying and believing for, he's going to do it. He's going to set into place your healing. If you're looking for a spouse, he's going to set into place the motion and the things that need to happen so that that can manifest all in his time. What you have to remain, though, is faithful. Remain faithful in understanding that obedience is better than sacrifice, and you always want to be right and in his alignment, trying to do your best. Even though we are not perfect, try to do your best to remain in the alignment and will of God. And he will begin to set into place the things for you as you begin to walk this walk out towards your dreams, your goals, and your purpose. So today I want to encourage you to write that list down and thank the Lord because mighty are the works of his hand in your life because you will see him set into place some things in the missing areas, in the dark areas, and in the areas that only you and him know about because God is going to do it in this year of new beginnings. Be blessed and I will see you next week.